your next question, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you another audio recording that is Plaintiff's Exhibit 397. Um, and for the record, we intend to play the portion that is one hour, four seconds to one hour, two minutes and 50 seconds. All right, so there's no objection to 397 coming into evidence, its entirety. Okay, the audio is coming in. It's 397 in evidence, and then you want to play that part. It's fine. Those wishes don't come true. Those wishes don't come true. What else do you want to fucking say to me, you piece of shit? What else? You know what I mean? What else say to me? Cool. I wish you the best. Hey, why don't you fuck yourself? Go suck your own dick. You're used to it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll write you a check for the extra sip I took. Is that okay? Stingy old fucking piece of shit. You're the one that brought it up. Mm-mm. You did. You said don't drink my wine. That's mine. I didn't say that. Oh, you didn't? I said I didn't think you were looking okay. for any more. Three one. Defendant be pretty good in front of your Rocky and your pop and uh, your mom. I've tried so fucking hard with you. No I've tried so Jackson, hard. No way. Hey, if you ever learn this shit, it's gonna be fucking something you miss. You never know. Oh, to God. Oh, to God. Jack's stepfather teaches him more about the men than you know fucking your fucking left nut. Hey, that's good. You gave me some shit about my kids, just like in London that you desired. Never again. Stay away. You don't exist. You will not be getting my words. Mr. Depp, could you please describe to the jury what they just heard in that audio recording? I don't, I don't know when, I don't know when that, if there's a date on that, <clears throat> but, um, um, clearly there was, uh, some, uh, animosity and, uh, another clash and, um, this heard once again um, felt it necessary to uh, bring my <clears throat> bring my kids my 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 son into the into that argument and say that she hopes that uh, my son's stepfather can teach him how to be a man since I couldn't. Um, uh, and I believe she says something about more
more man in the stepfather than would be existing in my, I believe the term was left nut. How often did Ms. Hurd bring your children into your arguments? Too often. And at the end of your relationship, how was Ms. Hurd's relationship with your children? Non-existent. They, my children, my kids are far, um, more intelligent than I am. And they, they broke, they, they wouldn't be around Ms. Hurd any, they refused to be around her <clears throat> anymore. They didn't like uh, the way she uh, treated me, which was written in a, 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 a very elegant letter by my daughter, actually, to, uh, <clears throat> to Ms. Hurd. I don't know if that's in evidence, but I remember the, uh, my daughter sent a text to Ms. Hurd. Objection, Your Honor, just hearsay. It's one thing for the witness to tell his story. It's another thing for him to tell other people's stories. All right, you can, move, you can on. move on, okay. I'm sorry, I read the, I read the email. Yeah, I understand, next question. Um, when did you learn that Ms. Hurd had filed for divorce? Well, it was, let's see, Betty Sue was the 20th. That night I spoke to her about the divorce. 21st was the um, kicker. I believe it w was on the 23rd and I had already left town for New York to prepare for the tour. Did Ms. Hurd know that you were out of town at that time? I don't know. <clears throat> when did you learn that Ms. Hurd had made domestic abuse allegations against you? Um, the 26 7th of May, which is in fact my daughter's birthday, um, I saw that she had gone to a uh, court, was, I don't know, some court and there were paparazzi everywhere and her and a um, <clears throat> brown mark on her face. Um, and it was also happened to be the day that Charlie and the, no, Alice in Wonderland 2, um, through the looking glass was opening. And that's the day that she chose to uh, uh, get the, uh, go, go to the courthouse and get a TRO, a temporary restraining order against me. But I was in Europe already at that point. Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 487. And just for the record, this is a very long document, um, and we will be showing pages 470, or excuse me, uh, 492 through 494. There's no objection to the document 487? No, I just have to make sure. the two Okay. I assume, are you entering this in evidence now or are you just showing it? Uh, we, I, can, I can give them an opportunity okay. and go sure. through it with Mr. Depp if that's okay. Um, Mr. Depp, do you recognize any of these text messages that are on the screen in front of you? Vague, 
memory of, of these. And who are these communications between? Uh, it looks like myself and the, it's me, um, in the in the green, <clears throat> and Ms. Hurd's words in the blue. And do your communications reflect that Ms. Hurd understands that you're in New York? I'm, sc I'm sorry? What is the date of your text messages here on this page? Um, that's the 23rd of May, 2016. And hers are the 24th of May, 2016. And based off of these communications, does this refresh your recollection that Ms. Hurd knew that you were in New York on this date? Um, in her text, you know, when do you leave? Um, what was clear that I was leaving um, right away, but uh, I, I, I'm not sure that I wasn't already, because I wasn't in New York City. We weren't playing New York City. I, we, were, we were playing, uh, we were rehearsing in a, um, like a casino, a big casino, and that was where we did our first uh, show um, to, pra to, you know, first show to practice for the the uh, the tour, the uh, European tour. So I don't know if I was either leaving for New York, but I don't. I think I was already there because. New York City. Uh, we weren't, uh, I don't recall that we were playing New York City. So maybe I was su suggesting going, going there. I don't know. Could we please go turn to page uh, 940, excuse me, 494? And Mr. Depp, do you see the text message um, from Ms. Hurd on May 24th, 2016 at 633? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. And do you understand what Ms. Hurd is referring to in this text message? Um, is it all right if I just take a quick glance? Please do. Thank you. Thank you, that's better. Oh. I remember, yes. <clears throat> I recall this. And what do you recall about this? That it made no sense to me. It, 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 it just didn't make any sense to me, especially about, well, as long as you don't file, nobody will know. And that just, it just didn't, I, Again, I'm not all that familiar with these types of things, but if, uh, I mean, if it's two people in a relationship and the relationship is ending um, in any case, the outcome is divorce. So I, I, I didn't understand these explanations of this can happen or it cannot happen or and I only did this because my lawyers said to and um, it, it just didn't make any sense to me and and uh, 
it looked like uh, <clears throat> she was kind of grabbing at straws, trying to figure out what, in fact, to do. Mr. Depp, I'd like to just ask you about a couple statements Ms. Heard makes in this text message. She first says, just confirm that the cover letter is completely private and has nothing to do with any public record. Do you see that? The first sentence in the text message? Yes, I do. Do you know what cover letter Ms. Heard is referring to? No, I don't. Okay. And then she says, and only included the domestic violence slash restraining order stuff because I called the lawyer when the cops were here and I didn't know what to do or why that happened and was scared. Do you see that? Yes. Do you know what Ms. Hurd is referring to when she said that? No. And then dropping down to the bottom, it says two lines up, I thought you filed. Do you see that? Yes. And do you have any understanding as to why Ms. Hurd thought you had already filed? No. I had, I had on the the night of the 20th uh, was, was when I told her on the phone that I was going to file. Um, for divorce, and in the way that I had explained it, to keep everything nice and calm, and even, um, but on the 23rd, she filed, and um, so I, I, I had, I, I hadn't had a chance to file. Um, Your Honor, I would move um, Plaintiff's Exhibit 487, specifically the portions from page 492 to 494 into evidence. So you just want page 492 to 494? In yes, Your Honor, it's a it's a 700-page document, so I... Just page 40, well, are you going to ever put more 487 in, I guess is the question. I believe so, Your so Honor. So this is 487A? Certainly, that would make sense. Okay, so 487A, page 492 to 494. Any objection to those two pages? No, Your Honor. All right, those two pages are in evidence. Just for clarity, is that two pages or three Four ninety. That would be three pages, if that's no, correct. That's correct. Okay, four ninety-two to four ninety-four. Okay. And could that please be published to the jury? Oh. Mr. Depp, Ms. Hurd did end up seeking a temporary restraining order against you, correct? Yes, she did. And and what, I believe you already said this, but could you just remind the jury, what date was that? The 27th of May. And where were you when you learned that Ms. Hurd had um, actually filed a temporary restraining order against you? I don't. I don't recall if we had left for Europe as yet, um, that is the Hollywood vampires for the tour. So I was either um, in New York State rehearsing and uh, preparing to go to Europe or I was already in Europe. I'd have to check the, <clears throat> the, the tour dates. Did you find out on the 27th or a time, uh, shortly thereafter? No, I found out on the 27th, it was everywhere. And what do you mean when you say it was everywhere? It was, um, it was multiplying and multiplying and multiplying throughout media, throughout um, social media, throughout um, so-called sort of straight media or whatever, um, and uh, I was taken aback a bit. Um, if we could take this down and please pull up 
Plaintiff's Exhibit 411. Mr. Depp, is this some of the media coverage that you were referring to? Many things of this uh, of this nature, yes. Many. And do you recall actually seeing this specific article? I, I don't remember seeing this specific article. Um, but there were already plenty, um, uh, and certainly more than I was happy to go through. I, I think w w once you read one or two of them, um, the general idea is, is uh, I mean, the, the point had been made um, clearly. Your Honor, I'd move um, Plaintiff's Exhibit 411 into evidence. Any objection? All right, 411 in evidence. Um, could we please take this down and pull up uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 414? Mr. Depp, yes. do you recognize this article at all? Um, I, I, I remember yeah, I don't know if it was this one in particular, but I do remember seeing all the various uh, reasons behind the, or re her reasons behind um, her uh, needing to to get a temporary restraining order, uh, a TRO against me, um, which it just, they just started to uh, um, metastasize into these. Uh, uh, there were abuse allegations, and then there was al alcohol, and then there was drugs and violence and it just uh, it was uh, already <clears throat> right then and there before my eyes spinning out of control uh, and there was not a word that I could uh, say your honor I would move plaintiffs exhibit 414 into evidence any objection no, your honor. all right 414 in evidence <sighs> And if we could take this down now, please, and put up Plaintiff's Exhibit 409. And Your Honor, um, if I could move Plaintiff's Exhibit 409 into evidence as well. Any objection with 409? No objection. All right, 409 in evidence. Thank you. Mr. Depp, do you recall seeing this People magazine article? Yes, I do. And when did you see it? Right when it was released right when it came out. Did you speak to anyone about this article? Yes, I did. Who did you speak to? Mostly friends in my Sister Christy, mostly friends, um, and certainly 
the, the, the band. Um, uh, and my and my kids, I had to uh, alert them that there might be some ugly, ugly, ugly things coming out um, <clears throat> that that were most assuredly going to put me in the position of um, uh, some violent, drug-addled, alcoholic, uh, uh, you, you know, um, just reprobate. And I wanted to warn them before uh, they were approached with the People magazine cover in school. <laughs> 